All right, so JP just got their data download for the Golden Week Celebration Global. We'll be getting a very similar one in a few hours, most likely, but I didn't want to wait to make this video. So we're going to take a look at the JP one. Uh, before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, later on in this video, we are also going to cover the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Fizz LR Krillin. So with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the promo movie for the uh, Goku and Piccolo Jr. Let me just pause the music. And here we go. <laughs> And there you have it. Goku and Piccolo Jr. are on the way. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised by just how excited I am for them. Like, I wasn't really sure how I would feel about them before I saw the animations and the details. But now I'm like super, super hyped for this Dual Dokkan Fest. And uh, if you guys want a full look at the animations as well as a full breakdown of their details, I'll put a link to the uh, breakdown video that I posted earlier today somewhere over my head so feel free to go check that out but uh, yeah let's move on to the next thing which is uh, the Goku so we got the SSR for the Goku the TUR and then also the standby Goku and then we have Piccolo Jr there's the SSR there's the TUR and then that's the uh, giant form Piccolo Jr as well and from there, we have the side unit. There is the SSR TN. There's the TUR uh, quad TNs. And then we have the new Krillin as well, who is pretty awesome. I really like this unit, SSR and TUR. And then uh, we have the Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening for the Super Strike event, uh, STR Cyborg Tau. We also have the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for Fizz LR Krillin. Uh, once again, I'll break down his details in a few minutes, but for now, let's keep scrolling. We have uh, two new stages for the Super Strike Mercenary Tau event, obviously for his uh, Awakening Medals and also for his Extreme C Awakening Medals as well. And uh, there are the Extreme C Awakening Medals for Tau. Uh, there are two new Dokkan events, obviously for the Goku, along with the Piccolo Jr. There you go. And also the Extreme Z area stage for Fizz LR Krillin, along with his Extreme Z Awakening Medal again, which I think is the exact same one we saw earlier. So I guess he just posted it twice. That's cool. And uh, this is a new boss rush, uh, boss rush stage 17. Oh, by the way, uh, the release date is uh, not the most conventional for all this stuff. So as you can see, it's 2 a.m. GMT on the 28th, so that converts to 10 p.m. Eastern on the 27th, right? So basically, we got um, a good, let me think, uh, wow, almost 24 hours, maybe like 22 hours from now, from the time this video was posted, basically, uh, before these guys drop, according to this uh, date right here, this time right here. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be... Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's accurate because, you know, Proton doesn't really get these things wrong, but it's just a bit of an unconventional time, right? So, um, for now, based on the information we have, they're dropping at 2 a.m. GMT on the 28th. Once again, that's 10 p.m. Eastern on the 27th, so roughly 22 hours from now, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. We got, what is next? Uh, boss Rush, Stage 17, uh, Super Pateroad, Stage 69, nice, powerful comeback. 
We have uh, Extreme, Super Bad Road, Stage 45, Earthlings. And then we also have a new wallpaper, which is Goku and Piccolo. And that's going to be available most likely through just the login. And uh, there's a new Super uh, Dragonstone, number 13. Um, this would be available for purchase. Um, and uh, you can use it to exchange for a character in the Bob Shop. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to update the pool of units or not, but we'll find out soon. And then we just have some scripted assets, you know, uh, assets that are used for the new events, the Dokkan events, the story events, all those good things. And uh, as expected, you know, some Piccolos, some Gokus, and a Cyborg Tau. But this is the, the big one. This is the exciting thing. We got the banners. We got the banners, at least, at least the banner images for... Uh, Goku and Piccolo, and on the Goku banner, one super exciting inclusion for me personally, and for probably everyone else, it's, it's gotta be exciting for everyone else too, Orange Piccolo is back guys, Orange Piccolo is back, uh, the rest of the banner looks solid, we got the Transforming Cell, we got uh, Kid Buu, and then also the STR Tien, and then we also have uh, you know, the Beast Go Beast Gohan on the Piccolo Jr. banner, and uh, the Krillin, um, the Exchange Goku and Gohan, and then the Super Saiyan 2 uh, slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So essentially, the Golden Week units of uh, previous years, I guess. Uh, I believe, wait, hold on. Were Boo and... The transforming Goku, like were they were they Golden Week or something else? I thought they were New Year's. Either way, um, other dual Dokkan fests from from the past, and yeah, the the big ones, the big ones, of course, Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan. That's amazing. Um, of course, this is this is the JP data download. It's the JP side, so there's no guarantee. That the global banners will be identical, but considering that global, you know, did get these two banners at the same time, the the Piccolo and uh, Gohan banners, right? The orange Piccolo, like the celebration for the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie at the same time. I'm assuming we're also gonna get them on these banners on the global side. If not, that is a huge shaft. So. Uh, <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm, I'm praying, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm praying that we don't get that shaft, because that would just be a travesty. So, uh, please, uh, don't let don't let that be a thing, that, that would really suck. Um, but yeah, that is everything from the data download. Uh, once again, thank you, shout out to Proton for all this good stuff. And before we get out of here, as promised, we are going to... Check out the details for the Prime Battle Krillin. Thank you so much to Minato's Flash on Twitter for posting the details. Let's just quickly go through it. So uh, the leader skill is going to be Earth Things, Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 160%. Uh, the 12 key Super is going to be Raises Attack, Raises Defense for one turn, and causes colossal damage to all enemies uh, with a medium chance of stunning them. So... The major change here is uh, he is getting some defense for one turn as well on top of the uh, stacking of attack. And of course, the leader skill gets a 10% boost, which is pretty nice. That's that's a pretty nice leader skill for a free-to-play unit for sure. And then 18 key super will be raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers uh, attack. That's the new part, the lowering of attack. And then passive is key plus 3, defense plus 160%, attack plus 60% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 30% if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus 6, and attack and defense plus 60% when facing only one enemy, plus an additional attack, uh, which has a rare chance to become a super attack when facing two or more enemies, and then attack and defense plus 20% at the start of turn per existing enemy, when facing two or more enemies, count starts from the second enemy. So basically, the first one doesn't count for this boost. Uh, and then launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. So essentially, he is 
doing a lot of the same stuff, right, as before the Extreme Z Awakening, except he is much, much better at it. He's getting these percentage boosts. He's also getting this 60% attack and defense, which he didn't have before. He's getting more key than before. Um, he's getting way more attack and defense, just a way bigger boost as a whole, right? And uh, he's going to be so, so good for World Tournament, but also Super Battle Road. Um, basically any event where you're facing multiple enemies, right? He's going to be incredible for those events. It's just, uh, you know, basically modernizing him a little bit so that he's not, like, getting one shot in some of the harder events, uh, like Extreme Super Bad Road, for example. And uh, I love it. I love it. I think he's going to be awesome. I think he's going to be really, really useful. And uh, he should be one-shotting people now. He should be one-shotting units, or at least guarantee to two shot enemies in uh world tournament because before that you know he did have some trouble clearing enemy uh teams right with his super attacks because he wasn't doing as much damage but now he's gonna be hitting much harder and uh, i don't think that's gonna be an issue at all so uh yeah i, I love the extreme z awakening i think they did a great job so krillin definitely a big win and also the banners are a big win i mean beast gohan and orange piccolo coming back i did not really see that you know uh i mean i guess i didn't really think about it overall but it's just i, I wasn't thinking about it i just wasn't expecting it so it's a nice surprise it's a really really nice surprise and uh yeah i'm gonna be summoning on these banners for sure man i was already gonna summon anyways but i'm gonna be summoning summoning even even harder now uh now that i've seen those guys on the banners so anyways guys that is gonna be the video thank you so much for watching once again shout out to uh proton make sure to go follow him and as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video Signing out.